Hello. Hello. Luikia, back. Yee, we're queer. Yeah, that's yeah. That is a thing. Yay. Um We're going to try and tackle all of Robert's route today. I don't know how long anything is. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work. I'm hoping the three hours of the stream, we can get it all done, but it could be longer, it could be shorter, who knows? Um, maybe we could die. Maybe. <laughs> maybe this is the route where you just fucking die. But, um, yes, I also, know the answer to that, but I'll never tell. Yeah. I feel like if in any of them... Like, if any any of the routes, you have the option to die, it would be Robert's. You don't have the op option to Literally, die. You just, the, the you chance just fuck up. to die. That's fair. It would be his. Because, yeah, he's an edgy man who's probably into some shady, dangerous shit. <laughs> but, um... Like, Knife Monopoly. Knife Monopoly, yeah. <laughs> Robert plays Knife Monopoly and Knife Monopoly only. Yes. It's the only game he will ever play that's actually the first date. And that's where you can <laughs> die. It's Knife Monopoly. <laughs> but yes. um, Just a couple little things. I now have a, my weekly schedule up on my channel so you can see what Ooh, games i have planned for what days i'm gonna try to keep that updated all the time i added a link to my tumblr which i might try posting about when i'm streaming and stuff more often um and i just i have a lot of plans i'm very excited i'm hoping to stream very regularly i'm hoping five days a week damn bitch damn yeah it's, Damn, it's, Daniel. <laughs> it's my um way of making up for the fact that I don't have a job. <laughs> That's so valid. But anyway, um enough of that. Let's date some dads. We have a little thing from Amanda. <laughs> Dad Amanda. Hi Jake, it's me, your dear old friend from way back in the day. Dad Amanda. I'm delighted to see see that you signed up for Dadbook. They've recently added this exciting new messenger service, so you may find yourself receiving messages from other dads, like myself. Take care not to miss them. Amanda, is that you? What are you doing on Dadbook? Why, Jake, I ne- I'm actually gonna give her- I'm gonna try and be Amanda pretending to be a dad. <laughs> Why, Jake, I never! We've known each other since business school! How could you possibly confuse <laughs> me for your amazing- and talented and easy to buy things for daughter. Though I am, of course, flattered. You should buy Amanda more things. Amanda, you know I didn't go to business school. I barely even managed to get my degree. Wait. No. Wow. I didn't say that. You never heard that. This is gold. I was a great student, I swear. I graduated at the top of my class because I worked hard and ate all my vegetables. Totally holding on to that for later. Wait, do you even remember what I majored in? Hmm. I declined to comment. Cool. 
Alright, let's... Wonderful. Let's go! Let's go! When the internet gun. gun. I'm sorry. Oh, I've all, seen you'll know it'll gun. use this information against us, right? <laughs> Friday, Thank you're you, most Rob. likely to make a deal in the alleyway. Have it go badly. Who's the cop? Was it... Uh, Giacomo? I tr was it Giacomo? I trusted Giacomo. <laughs> if you had one thing to take to a desert island, what would it be? Gun. Gun. <laughs> what are your Again. terms? Don't Gun. talk to me. What do you want to be when you grew up, Grifter? What's your favorite Wait, I'm just... movie genre? Wait. Italian neorealism. Wait, what are you? I'm just taking a screenshot of what are your turn-ons, don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mood. <laughs> What's your ideal date, grave robbing? What do you never leave home without at least four knives? I spend a lot of time thinking about you ever really look into a rabid animal's eyes? So I got a- I was like, oh, I got a notification on my phone, I should check that. That's just my phone telling me that I'm going live on Twitch. Yeah. Like, I know that. I put that in quotes. Maybe I should have put that in reactions. It's fine, it's just gonna stay in quotes. That's I kinda fine. wanna look at the others. But we don't have I'm time. I'm down, I could re- Okay. We- we- We gotta- do this. Medicine is not always the best medicine. Okay, anti-vax. <laughs> Episode 5. Robert was pretty nice. A little odd, but nice. A ruggedly and and ruggedly handsome. Uh, we should hang out. Type out a message to him on Dadbook. Hey, Robert. Good seeing you again at the cookout. Want to grab a drink? Sit there for a couple seconds, hoping you'll message me back. Hey, it says that he read my message. <laughs> I anxiously wait for a response. Watch cat videos, duh! I sought down a rabbit hole of cat videos, and Robert quickly vanishes from my mind. I didn't realize how long I've been doing this, but by the time I watch maybe my 30th cat video, Robert pops back into my head. I jump over to Zad book to see if he's responded yet. Oof. Nothing. Well, I guess the guy's busy. Might as well take make the best of my day. I get up, walk to the living room, then sit down and turn on the TV. Game show. Ooh, family fortune's on. Alright, Nicole, your parents are in the lead and it's up to you to win it big. Are you ready? I'm ready! <laughs> they hook up the contest- they hook the contestant up to a lie detector in front of her parents. What? Oh, family fortune. It's not. It's not the anyway. I can. Who <laughs> was your favorite parent? No, this is this is exactly what family feuds like. Uh, my mom. Ooh, sorry, incorrect. Next question. <laughs> if both of your parents were hanging off the edge of a cliff, <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> 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 This is terrible. I love it. <laughs> I lose several hours to whatever the hell that was. Sighing, I get up and walk around the house. My stomach grumbles. Time Do for we lunch, not have huh? a job? We're a full-time dad. <laughs> okay. We get money from the dad gods for looking after our sweet daughter, Amanda. I hate you. Time for lunch, huh? Why I do guess I come to time for the old chef Flooferson to cook a gourmet delicacy. Right, Sanji Kinney. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you have one piece on the brain. What the fuck is a once piece? I just read. <laughs> I walk over to the refrigerator and open the door. Microwave sandwich. No, no just make, make a, a sandwich. Just make a sandwich. Oh my please. gosh. I, I don't like the implications of a mustard jar. Of just uh, mustard jar. Uh, I make a sandwich in its entirety while standing there. Who needs plates? The sandwich. A lost art. Wow, is that a JoJo reference? I hate it here so much.
I admired my work for a second before I clumsily dropped the entire thing on the floor. No! I look around and remember that Amanda's not home. This is still good. That's <laughs> even real, <new>, right? <laughs> I reassemble my sandwich, peeling put pickles off the floor and putting them back where they belong in my mouth. It's one thing if, like, your whole sandwich falls on the floor and, like, the bread is touching the ground. You can, like, wipe off the bread. The wet things touched the floor. That's fucking gross. Wait. I'm a wreck. I finish my snack and walk around the house some more. Bored. When's Amanda coming home? Oh, I just remembered something. We were packing up the old house. We found an old basketball hoop that we could hang off the door. Really bring the living room together. I wonder where I put that. Spend a couple minutes poking around the new place until I find it. After installing a bet, yeah, yeah, I need a beer. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> installing it above one of the doors in the living room. I'm ready to dunk. Come on and slam. Come on and slam. Slam and welcome, and welcome to, to, the, to slam. the jam. <laughs> Take a leap from the free throw, free throw line and rocket that sucker down the net. The crowd goes wild. And welcome to the... <laughs> I hate this game! Suddenly I can't stream this game anymore. Suddenly we have to turn the stream off. <laughs> yes. I pull up from the three-point line, breaking ankles and sinking a fadeaway. And I forgot the rest of the rest of this. Fucking mood. I remember a couple years ago I listened to a um, mix of the Space Jam song and Death by Glamour. And it oh was God. really good. <laughs> a couple years back they've re-released Space Jam to theaters and me and my friend went. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> well, it was me and Fuckwit. Fuckwit was obsessed with that movie. But like you were like the, the only. Meme. Yeah, that's fair. It was really funny because you were the only two in the theater. I'm pretty sure <laughs> watching Space Jam. It was <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh my god! Now look behind behind the back hook shot. Everyone's on their feet. <laughs> something, something, Space Jam. <laughs> like I grew up with Space Jam. That was a big movie from my childhood. Dad. Okay. Turn around to see Amanda standing in the doorway. Her eyes are a little puffy, it's almost as if she'd be crying. No! Hey, Amanda Panda, you alright? I'm fine. What are you, what are you doing? No, she looks so sad. I uh, found the hoop and I'm taking it to the hole. <laughs> Pass me the rock. What does put up a brick mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I don't know what any of this fucking means. <laughs> I would put up the brick. I don't like the first two options. I'm gonna put up a brick. I lead the league in block. Set the record for rebounds in my rookie year. Think you can handle this? What's a rebound? Oh, uh, when someone misses a shot and the other players try to retrieve it, that's, uh... <laughs> Just kidding! Amanda zigzags past me and tips a layup into the hoop. I don't like. I, I, Art of War! Wait, what? You don't know I'm, what a layup is? I'm gay, I don't know sports! <laughs> uh, I played basketball when I was younger. Uh, a layup is when you dribble up to the hoop, you take two steps, and then you jump and kind of like hook it into the net. Okay. It's the only time you're allowed to like travel with the ball. You have to take the shot after taking the two steps. Like you don't have to dribble the last two steps of a layup. Come on and slam. Yeah. And welcome to the <laughs> Art of War, bitches. Amanda, language. Sun Tzu didn't care about language. Would argue at Sun's I would I would, I'd like to read. <laughs> I would argue that <laughs> Sun Tzu cared very much about language. So, once you write something as timeless as the art of war, then you're allowed to swear. Nah. 
Matt sticks out her tongue and dunks for another two points. What the fuck is going on with her eyes? Oh, she's wearing eyeliner. Yeah. Okay. It took me a second, too. You know, like, suddenly she's a tiefling. Jesus. Seriously, though. You okay? She looks like a tiefling. Looks like you've been like crying. Her. She would. Oh. Oh, dude, I'm cool. I just saw, like, this really cute dog on the way home, and it let me pet its belly. I couldn't contain my emotions. Oh. Uh, oh. either the first or last option, I think. Yeah. I I don't want to press her too much. I definitely don't want to be a dick about it. <sighs> yeah, it's definitely not the middle option. Mm. No. Because the bottom one's just dodging the issue. Yeah. And the first one seems a bit... Oh, fuck it. Oh! That was good! <laughs> There's, you know, anything going on, I just want you to know that I'm here for you, and I'll always be here for you. Whether you need a sh shoulder to cry on or a strong dad to go kick someone's butt, I'm only a phone call away. Thanks. Popsicle. I appreciate that. But I'm fine. Really. I'm unconvinced, but I'll stop badgering her about it. I'm sure she'll tell me when she's ready. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Just making sure. Maybe you should be less concerned with my face and more concerned with full court press. Amanda and I play ball for a little longer, and then we cook dinner together. We managed to not... Pro to not almost burn down the house this time. Afterward, Amanda and I dig into a cotton of ice cream over an episode of Chopped Toddler Tournament. What you have in front of you is a molecularly disconstructed sweet potato with the brown sugar demi glaze with cream freight, of course. This is literally a jar of baby food. The toddler immediately bursts into tears. Mm. Are we bad people for watching this? Yeah. Just them, my computer dings. Huh? What's that? Oh, you probably just got a message. Man and I walk over to the computer and check that book. It's a message from Robert. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> don't know what are you doing? I <laughs> hate <laughs> <laughs> so <much>. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Suddenly, I oh, regret this route. I'm going to hate voicing Robert. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> what does that mean? What you doing? What am I doing? You're just chilling. Just, I'm just chilling. <laughs> I type back just chilling. Amanda deletes the D. That's not a. D, there's Don't no do D in there. D, you need the D. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda deletes the G and hits send. Yeah, you're gay. You don't need the G. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll make you look cool. That's Amanda's it, line. It's me, you identity thief. I'm sorry. Um, It'll make you look cooler. A couple moments pass by. Another message pops up. Want to grab a drink? Hey, that means he wants to hang out! I know what that means, Amanda. But it's kind of late. Come on, Pops, live a little. I am living with ice cream and traumatized toddlers. Well, it's your life, but I think you have a lot of fun tonight. You are trying to get to know the neighbors better, aren't you? Ugh, fine. I type back a message to Robert asking for details, and he tells me to meet him at Jim and Kim's. Well, don't wait up for me. I never do. Throw on a nice jacket and run out the door. It's only a short walk to Jim and Kim's, and such a beautiful night. Walk into the bar and see the usual crowd of bar flies drinking beer and watching sports. I spot, this. I spot Robert at the back of the bar and wave hi as we walk over. Hello, Prince. Welcome to the stream. 
Hi, Prince! You came just in time to listen to me do the world's shittiest Texan accent. <laughs> hey, man, how's it going? Hey, buddy. Oh, hey there, Skipper. Robert and Mary are here? Uh-oh. I brought Mary along. Figured we needed a drinking buddy. Oh man, I was excited to get to know Robert a little better. Now I have to deal with this weird married lady making passes at me. Ugh. Don't look so scared, kiddo. We're just having a drink. Yeah, yeah, speaking of which, I think it's time for the first round. What are you having? Ah. Something tropical, personally. Yeah, like... Beer see Beerish is alcoholic bread. Yeah. See, I, I like Whiskey the tropical first. drinks as well. Yeah. But I'm trying to impress Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, and whiskey straight up, probably. What did you pick? I, I, was cho looking. I chose whiskey. A day out after my own heart, huh? <gasps> Fuck yeah! Nice! That was a right Yeah, so choice. I think... I think the levels are, are like black, just hearts, and then hearts liquid and eggplant yeah hate that <laughs> robert orders three shots of whiskey and passes in between us well this is one well this wasn't how i was expecting my night to be going ah. here's to bad decisions and relaxed moral values fellas what have i gotten myself into <laughs> you all knock back the shots i almost choke on the whiskey as it burns down my throat holy hell that was a kick I look over at Robin and Mary, who seem like old pros at this. Robert grabs his jacket and throws it on. Huh. Let's get marching. What? Uh, the Nats young, Chief. Come on. We're bar hopping. Oh. Alright. We leave the barn, saw walking down the street. I still don't know this area of town very well, so I just follow Robin. So, where are we headed? Irish, I wear. Irish. Ah! I see. Irish, Irish, I were drinking. It's an Irish pub. Funny joke. A good pun is the whiskey to my heart. Come on. Hmm. <laughs> Puns are the lowest form of humor, Jake. Try harder. Ouch. Am I gonna be the butt of the joke all night? Jesus, Mary, put your fangs away for a second. Thank you, sir. Walk into Irish Hour Drinking. The bar is pretty much the same as Jim and Kim's, except for the old-timey Irish memorabilia on the wall. Next round. What you having? Fuck it, whiskey. <laughs> well, I have to do it. This is easy, just always choose the whiskey option. <laughs> the whiskey is a way to a man's heart, apparently. You can whisk your way into a man's heart. Ha ha! Ha ha! We have jokes here! We are the height of comedy. Wait! Robert can whiskey me away. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy. Robert orders three more glasses of whiskey and we post up a garnished green booth. Mary slides in and slides up next to Robert, which makes me breathe with a sigh of relief. Let's sip this one, why don't we? Mm. Suit yourself. Mary immediately downs her shot in one gulp and burps loudly. Uh, that'll put hair on your chest. You are truly the paragon of grace and beauty. Mary grabs my drink and sips on it. Hey. Uh? Jake, be a dear and get us another round, will ya? I don't know how to process this evening at all. I get up and order another round of drinks from the bartender. As I head back, I see Mary and Robert having a lively conversation. Robert roars, roars with loss. All after. Eh. I don't think I've ever seen the guy smile, let alone laugh. Oh, look at his face. Yee. Pretty men. <laughs> The game. Take a seat yeah. across the booth from them and pass out the drinks. So Edith's kid snuck some pop brownies onto the table at the last bake sale, right? 
And I saw the little hemp sweatshirt gremlin in the act. So I go up to Edith with the baggie, and I'm about to tell her when all of a sudden, she just freaks out at me. You're visiting the bake sale, she says. I should have the PT. I should have been PTA president. Your roots are bad. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. So what? That's so you. What you <laughs> I'm just stealing your identity left and right. No. So what did you do? I told her to have a brownie and that everything was going to be fine. They both erupted in loft. I politely follow along with the story. I heard Danny. I forgot he was Danny for a second. <laughs> I heard Danny's oh, laugh. Like, Hello. <laughs> she ate three. Well, loft. Okay, that was pretty funny. She called the cops and told them that time. I'm stopped. <laughs> Mary looks directly at me. Do you smoke weed? <laughs> just this nice Christian mother just be like, hey, do you smoke pot? Hey, do you smoke the Mary Jane? <laughs> <laughs> She's a Mary! <laughs> anyway. Her fucking fingers again. Weed? What the hell? I know. I'm trying. Trying not to think about it. What? You know, the devil's <laughs> lettuce. I... <laughs> I have two big fat blunts in my purse right now. Please. I'm sorry, this fucking dialogue. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I have two... Also, saying it in my merry wishes, I have two that plugs my bag right now. You want to play? Uh. You hit the fence. <laughs> I, I need to. I worked hard for what I have. No two big corner boy is going to drop the dime on me. So you take what you're pushing somewhere else, and I'll keep running my business the way I want to run. What? Remember. Come at the king, you better not miss. Jesus, kid, dial it back. <gasps> nice! Robert giggles helplessly. I am so good at this. I'm just kidding, cowboy. Mm -hmm. Play off the kid, Mary. He might not be used to your brand of humor. Mm. Fine, fine. Sit around and sip out drinks. People watching and cracking jokes. After a little bit of time, I begin to warm up to Mary. Her jokes become much funnier and much less scary. But it seems she's not going anywhere anytime soon. Just want some alone time with Robert. Wonder if I can get her to leave somehow. <clears throat> Ooh. I feel like next round is the subtlest. I feel like bringing up Joseph might be a bad call. Yeah. Either. And I feel like the eligible bachelor things a on the nose. Mm. Yeah, Joseph will be bad. I think um, it's could you get the next one. Yeah. Um, that's my... Are you trying to ditch me, pal? I... No. Because if you're trying to Ditch me. You can just tell me to scrap. I don't I know when she became British. Just <laughs> when no, she no, did. No, no, <laughs> She wants alone time with his new best buddy Robert. I don't care if I'm on her shit list. <laughs> Read you loud and clear. The wingman breaks formation to pursue their prey. Ah. Now, if you fellows will excuse me, Mary needs to sink her teeth into a helpless boy. Go with God. Nice seeing you. Come on. Adduces, nerds. <laughs> Marry the fucking real one. Fuck, I... Also, she called herself a wingman, so that means Robert wants you. Ooh. I'm... Yeah, she said the wingman breaks off from the pack. I, I have conflicting feelings about her, but she's cool. I... Like I said, um... There's stuff with Damien's route where I'm like, nah, he's a real one. And this, I, I like Mary. I think, I Hell think, yeah. I would, 
I'd like to know more about her past because my theory is that just something led her to be where she's at and like, yeah. Yeah. Mary gets up and saunas over to a younger looking guy at the bar. She grows on you. Does she though? I feel like she kind of delights in making men suffer. <laughs> well, she does. What about her and Joseph? What about him? You know, they're married. She definitely wants to. She she definitely tried to get in my pants the other night and gesture her across the bar, where she's making goo goo eyes at that young guy from before. He looks like he's being held hostage. Oh no. Oh, that's just a thing she does. She's harmless. To, uh, to the boy she's hanging off of. Poor kids looks like he's seen war. <laughs> Rob lets out a hearty laugh. Hey, I, I got him to laugh! Huh. Oh man, you know I paid you for one of those straight lace tags. <laughs> I, fe I, I feel like this is just gay coding. <laughs> just, hmm, one of those straight laced types, you know, I pegged you for. God. Do you not use the term straight edge and straight lace? Like, yeah, but I, I feel All like right. he's just, he's just like, hmm, <laughs> I'm just Fair suddenly enough. telling you that, yeah, we gay <laughs> keep scrolling. Oh, don't worry. I got pretty wild back in my day. I still got a little wild in you. I have a child <laughs> I need to care for in the off cat. I love there's that. so much wild. I want it, but I know that's gonna be the wrong one. <laughs> there's so much wild. <laughs> Me is such a mood response. Oh god. Probably just you know it. Yep. Damn. <laughs> See, <laughs> this is what you get from being a people pleaser. You can choose the right options in dating games. <laughs> Robert orders a couple more rounds of shots. I gulp. What am I getting myself into? Think you can go shot for shot? It's only one way to look cool here. I grab the shot closest to me and down it. Robert looks impressed. He takes his shot and knocks it back. That's one. So... What do I even talk about? He's so cool. He probably hates small talk. Uh... So how are things? I... I hate small talk. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Too many people, and this isn't necessarily you. Too many people think that they have to fill the dead air with noise. Personally, I think they're afraid of silence. Or they're afraid of what the other person's going to think of silence. Uh, hey, Robert! Shut I, the fuck up! Yeah, hey, don't you call me out like this. <laughs> if you want someone solicited advice... Just learn to be comfortable with silence. Mm. Nothing wrong with two people sitting in silence and drinking whiskey. Ah. Alright. Hey. Rob and I sit in silence and drink whiskey. Take the, in the rest of the bar. Taking <laughs> laughing, playing darts, spilling beer. Mary giving the hot self to that young man. And the young man he's pretend get, got a, pretending he's got a phone call from one of his friends. Huh. Maybe silence is nice sometimes. So, you ever kill a man? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Just choke on your drink. I choke on my... Wait, I have a drink. Hold on. <coughs> there we go. Wonderful. Thank you. <coughs> Fuck, Thank I you, Jack, for that... <coughs> Thank you for that immersion, Jack. Yeah. Next thing we gotta get is VR. God damn it. Excuse me? You know, watch a laugh drain from someone's eyes. It's not just their laugh, you know. It's their hopes and dreams draining away. Every memory and experience they've ever had. Gone. What the fuck? <laughs> Sir. Uh, no. He was in the bar! <laughs> Great, me neither. <laughs> oh, 
Hello? <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Robert knocks back his shot and motions for me to do the same. I reciprocate. Mm. I'm just messing with you. Relax. I laugh nervously. Or am I? I laugh nervously. <laughs> Again. <laughs> we sip more whiskey and peep watch... And people watch some more. Marius are set set on another man from the... After the other one excused himself to the bathroom, and I assume called out the window. <laughs> Gosh, this whiskey's hitting me hard. Gosh, this whiskey's hitting me hard. <laughs> I love this fucking game. It's, it's really good. Robert gets up out of the booth, shouldering his jacket. Mm. Let's roll! Sorry, whiskey inside voices. I... <laughs> Let's roll. Wait, what about Mary? Brother, Mary's gonna be just fine. I look over at Mary, who's lying on the bar in front of some poor sap. She's singing happy birthday to him while he insists that it's not his birthday. Thank you, Mary. Very cool. <laughs> we make our way out of the bar and back on the street. I'm trying my hardest not to stumble, but man, that sidewalk is coming right at me. I hope Robert doesn't notice <laughs> me tripping over my own feet. Like, this is the first time I've ever been drunk. First time he's ever been drunk. It's not. It's like oh, okay. Ha ha ha. I know how to read. I have reading comprehension he's, skills he's that I have. One college. Listen. I'm listening, Jack. <laughs> I have big heart, small brain. And that's the meaning of life. Smooth brain. <laughs> Smooth brain. <laughs> Where to? You'll see. Follow Robert through the street lamp swap lights. And... I was like, no, this is this is like a shop, but no, on the right, that's a that's <laughs> a <laughs> Follow that's yeah. the until we eventually arrive yeah. at a rundown strip mall. There's a beauty salon, a sex shop, a computer repair store that looks like it's been closed for ten years, and finally a liquor store. Okay. Oh, it's a sex shop, not a not a not a yeah. strip club. He's going to a liquor store anyway. Wait right here, I'll be back. I mean who's to say he's not going to the sex shop? <laughs> <laughs> you know. After a minute Robert returns with two wine bottles and brown paper bags. He hands one to me. Cheers. <laughs> Sits on the curb and drinks. He motions for me to do the same. This is n really not where I expected the night to go. I take a sip. A white. <laughs> yeah, you just given up on Zinfidel? Yeah. Hi, I actually clicked through your thing. Yeah. yeah, you did. He said what? Okay, okay. what? <laughs> Nothing, I just wasn't expecting. It is delicious, fruity, and refreshing. Don't judge me. Fuck yeah. Start to say something. Think of his le lecture about valuing science early and stop. Sip in my wine and watch cars drive uh. by. That's the rock shit. <laughs> what? Robert suddenly hurls a rock at a stop sign. The ding echoes throughout the empty parking mm -hmm. lot. I am so sorry, streaming Jack. I am just whoo, suddenly, but I'm good. I'm just yawning, boy. Oh, mood. That felt good. Presses a stone in my free hand. How you try? Uh, I, I don't know. With feeling. Look at the rock in my hand and look to the stop sign. Back at the rock, back at the stop sign. I know it has to be done. <laughs> I got a problem with authority. That one's this one's for you, Tappy. <laughs> All the dialogue options in this game is so fucking good. They are. I got a problem with authority. <laughs> I hurl the rock at the side. Sails over the stop sign, ran to the window of a parked car, leaving a crack. Oh no. Really? Oh jeez. A dude, run! I leap up and dot to the nearest alley, wine in hand. I can hear Robert's footsteps behind me. 
Lofter, I'm sure I'm far away enough from the crack window that I'm no longer culpable for this heinous crime. I stopped to catch my breath. That I didn't say that word correctly. Culpable. Culpable? Culpable. I'm sorry. I wasn't looking for a hot second. Yeah, culpable. Culpable, okay. Maybe we strike Rock Throne from the to-do list. Agreed. Suddenly my stomach growls. Oh man, I'm starving. Let's get a pizza. Can't argue with that. Let's go around here. Actually, I don't even care if it's good. It just needs to be edible and in my mouth in the next five minutes. Hanno just the place. Follow Robert through Also, I love the idea that Robert read your message. And, like, I know it's supposed to seem like he put you off all day or whatever. But, like, imagine if he just sat there all day having no fucking clue what to do. And Mary was finally just, like, asked him to go take a drink, <laughs> have a drink with you. God damn it. That was actually Mary texting. <laughs> Yeah! She would, she would write <laughs> you up what you're doing. She, she, she fucking, they're sitting at the bar, they just got there, and Robert's talking, and she, like, she fucking snatches Robert's phone and is looking at it, and is like, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, and she messages you for him, and then gives the phone back, and Robert's like, what the fuck, and she's like, there you go, buddy. <laughs> fucking amazing. Barry is a real one. She is a real one. Follow Robert through a maze of alleys and side streets until we eventually end up in front of a tiny hole in the wall pizza joint. The bright red neon sign reads Pete's Piece of Pizza. And ta da! You can see a few exhausted looking workers behind the cow and so tossing dough and pull pulling piping hot pizzas right out of the stone ovens. Stomach, stomach rumbles again. Go up to the counter and get ready to order. Uh, can I get two slices of a Hawaiian pizza? Oh, oh wait, Jake. You're cool with pineapple on your pizza, right? Ooh, wow! This is the biggest <laughs> choice I've ever had to make. In game. <laughs> Moral choice in video games. <laughs> do you choose... Do you be true to yourself, but don't impress Rob? Or do you lie? It's for him. I I, th I think I think he's he'd be cool with someone being honest. And well, like, I mean, some people actually like pineapple on their pizza. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> okay, say oh no, you've gotten a lot of hearts this route. Hello. <laughs> Robert grabs me by the collar. <laughs> I respect your opinion, <laughs> and I will fight with my life for your right to say it. But where's your sense of adventure? Where's your sense of taste? Why won't you love yourself? This is the option where you die. <laughs> Robert I, kills you with his bare hands, ASMR. Like, like, looking with that whole debate. Like, if you like pineapple on your pizza all the power to you i bet it's great i don't like it i just don't personally i feel called out by this game god god how dare you the juiciness of the pineapple paired with the tanginess <laughs> of the sauce is a flavor combination that everyone should experience at least once, if not a thousand times more. Pineapple on pizza is one of the few things in life that I genuinely and thoroughly enjoy. Please, please just do this for me. No, do this for yourself. <laughs> Imagine being the poor cashier, and you just see Robin threatening this man. Yeah, he picks up his date by the collar and just fucking. You better so... eat this fucking pineapple on pizza, or I will beat you to death. <laughs> so two slices of Hawaiian pizza. 
Absa goddamn lootly. <laughs> we wait a minute for our pizza to come out of the oven. I'm practically drooling at the smell. Cassia hands us a giant slice on the paper plate, so saturated with grease that I'm worried it'll fall apart. Take our pizzas outside and wander through the alley alleyways as we eat. I really love how it's just like, you don't like pineapple on your pizza. I will defend your right as an American to make a choice. But that is the wrong choice. <laughs> I take a bite out of the pineapple pizza. And, hey, it's actually not that bad. I can't believe I spent so much of my life berating this sort of pizza to all of my friends. Maybe I should give pineapple pizza a shot one day. I've given it a shot. It's not good. <laughs> That's that on that. That is that on that. I don't like pineapple on pizza. People are like, oh, you're just lying about it to go with the trend. No, I just don't like it. <laughs> if you do, that's great. <laughs> yeah, you have a right to enjoy shitty pizza. Yeah. Man, I feel way better now. <laughs> You and me both. We hear a noise coming out of a slightly ajar door in the alleyway. Robert looks at me excitedly. I got any more of that wild in you? Mm. I love my daughter and I should go home to make sure she's alright. See, that's what... Like, I, I, I want to go see Amanda, but... Oh, but this is Amanda... I... Amanda would want you to have fun. You betcha. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Good on ya. Rob and I slide the door open and peek inside. It's completely dark except for some flickering light. You slowly creep forward. Cautious not to be heard or seen. Shh. Don't shush me so loud. Shh. <laughs> Oh, I need a burp again. Thank you. Thank you, I actually Jack. ate a lot of food before stream today, which is good so I won't get hungry in the middle of the stream, but also burp hours. <laughs> burp hours. We come to the end of the hallway and find ourselves standing in front of a movie screen. Oh, this suddenly makes sense. We really just sneak into a movie theater like a couple of teenagers? No talking during the movie! We look into the audience and are surprised to find that it's almost completely empty, save for a few row sorry, save for a row of few teenagers in the front. They look annoyed when they notice us. Robert Sutton's Sit making his Oh. Sorry. Sorry, I started singing Friday by Rebecca Black. It's Friday, Friday. <laughs> That's that's gonna be my new um starting soon music on stream. Suddenly I have to unsubscribe. <laughs> okay, Robert starts making his way to the back of the theater and I follow him. We settle with our wines and try to make sense of the movie. It's a romantic comedy, I think. The young man is frantically trying to get through New York to find the woman that he's finally realized he's in love with. Case already! Nobody to kiss yet. Just want him to kiss kiss the taxi driver. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking mood. Also, hey, remember how we said, oh, this is we're an hour into the stream and we're not done with date one. I feel like we're almost at the end. I, I'm I'm hoping I'm holding out for a hero. <laughs> You're holding out for a hero till the morning light. I I don't know. Does he have to be strong, and he has to be fast, and he has to be fresh from the fight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the kids down the way notice us heckling. One of them speaks up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> hey, man, keep it down. Shit. Oh, damn, that's our understanding way. Hugo's <laughs> So it's just, oh damn, that's Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> <laughs> Ernest Hemingway? 
Ernest, hey Ernest, I know it's you. It's me, your neighbor. Hi. <laughs> Ernest turns back around, embarrassed. <laughs> Turn back to Robert. Kiss anyone yet? It turns out that yes, he did kiss someone. He made his way out to a tiny island near New York to profess his love for a woman who, for some reason, he knew would be there. She tells him that they hit the jackpot. He said that they had, but I think there's some subtext I'm missing here. Boo, love is dead. That oven's beautiful! <laughs> no, you shut up! I love- <laughs> I love that you snuck into a rom-com and are now heckling children. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this game. <laughs> Ernest grumbles. Credits start to roll. I stand up. Robin immediately pulls me back down. Hundred of people work very hard to make this film happen. And you're going to sit here and appreciate them. Fuck yeah. Okay. Look at that. Elizabeth Shelton. She worked real hard. I bet she did lots of good uh, wardrobe design. Thank you, Elizabeth Shelton, for this beautiful film-going experience. And Peter Anders. Catering fed a bunch of people so they could have the energy to do their jabs. What a guy. Honestly, I need to do that when watching movies more. <laughs> Just appreciate tiny little people and joke about it as well. Yeah. You let the credits roll while while Robert individually thanks every member of the crew. Once it's finally over and make sure that no animals were harmed in the making of this film, we leave the movie theater. We stumble into the theater parking lot, po polishing off the rest of our wine. Hey, assholes. Out of nowhere, a rock flies through the air and hits me on the knee. My knee, what the hell? <laughs> Ernest and his friends stand in the alleyway, blocking our exit. Oh, what you guys want? Why'd you go throw a rock at my knee? <laughs> this is my good knee! My orthop... Uh, orthopedist. Orthopedist is gonna be pissed. Ernest throws another rock up and down in his hands. What's wrong with this kid? <laughs> You've ruined my theater going experience now you have to pay <laughs> call that post but real life and also violence <laughs> oh well i don't have any cash on me right now and like movies got really expensive ernest hucks another rock in my other knee i'm able to jump out of the way but i didn't properly stretch before my physical activity and i'm probably gonna feel super sore in the morning <laughs> we've ruined it for you that movie is pretty crappy in the first place. Hey, you take that back! That was a beautiful love story with a really genuine acting. You call that good acting? What classicist mainstream slap have you been served your entire life? What? Uh -huh. Have you ever seen that in Michael Powell? A Matter of Life and Death? 1946? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It was me for burp time now. Cool. You got burp Easily disease. the toughest five minutes of love you'll ever witness. Listen, man. No, you listen. That popcorn ass drivel the mass media is shoving down your throat will only make you dumber and sadder. You of all people should strive for a higher standard in the art you consume. Your name is Ernest Hemingway, for Christ's sakes. Okay, Boomer. Oh, now you've done it. Ernest rushes Robert, screaming like a banshee. Ah! I dive between Ernest and Robert, trying to stop the kid. He lunges forward, kicking me as hard as he can in the knee. Fuck, my knee! <laughs> <laughs> Why the knees? Why the knees? <laughs> your knee caps. your knee caps. Oh, God. Robert gets in huh. between Ernest and myself. It's as if he's seeing red. Fuck, my fucking knee hurts. All right, buddy. Talk little punk. Talk like punk, get hit like a punk. Don't hit a child. What would you do if there was a child <laughs> right in front of you? Robert squares <laughs> up into a box of stance. 
Queen Fair rules. Three minute rounds with one minute rest in between. No low blows, fish hooks, J grabs, or high blows. What? And don't even think about pulling an illegal turn style. That's an automatic deduction at three points. I. Excuse me? <laughs> Dan's fake tough voice is so funny. <laughs> Excuse me? You'll have to designate a second if you're unable to fulfill your role as main duelist. One of your friends over there looks like he has enough useful vivacity to handle it. Hey man, I don't want to get dragged into this. That movie sucked. Oh, it's too late. You two are blood bound. If he dies, you die. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Talk to Queensbury. We're just Gonna go. Ernest's friends were rarely back away. Robert calls off to them. Mm. The Queen's Bear Association will hear about this mm. and consume better content. Once the teens are safely out of the shot, Robert turns to me. Were you about to actually fight that mm. kid? Are you kidding me? I'd never hit a child. That'd be despicable. Good. You throw the rules at them, though, they always bolt. But he wants to wants a Queensberry sanctioned throwdown. But full disclosure, I made half of that up. Wow. I... See, you don't even have to know the rules. You just make them up. Come on, let's get out of here. How dare you? <laughs> Thank you, Danny. I fucking <laughs> love you, Danny. <laughs> Robin and I cool down a bit as we walk back to the neighborhood. Um, I'm so sorry. I got really into the art of filmmaking when I was <laughs> It's okay. I think it's cool how much you like movies. To be honest, I don't think I know a lot about them myself. Buddy, I got so much to show you. You ever seen any Sam Fuller? I haven't. Yeah. Fuller is cash. Thanks for defending my honor. Okay, Zuko. <laughs> um. The adventure. <clears throat> adventure is all I got, buddy. Yay. Oh. Robert throws his arm around my shoulder and we drunkenly belt out tunes all the way back. He finally gets to his doorstep. <laughs> This was an interesting night. I liked it. Smile forms in his cheeks. A rare sight. Mm. Well, let's hang again soon, yeah? Yeah. I linger there for a second, swaying drunkenly in the night breeze. Robert claps me on the shoulder. <sighs> nah, bud. Robert heads back inside and I stumble my way back home. Stand up for yourself. Don't let anybody. <laughs> Stand up for yourself. Don't let anybody disrespect you. <laughs> Whiskey twice. <laughs> Vandalism. Rank A. Hey, That's we got pretty good. Knife Dad. One out of Knife three. Dad. I an achievement. I don't know if it shows up on stream. I didn't know it. Um, while I'm doing my afternoon world work, work, work jumbles, I hear the mail truck pull through the cul-de-sac. I wonder if we got any co coupons today. Yeah. A nice male person slides a couple of letters in a large yellow envelope through the slot. It takes a couple of tries for them to get it in. Hey, my coupons. Take a... Yeah. I take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. Likely knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda? She yells through the door. What? I have some for you. I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay, I just thought you'd want this big ol' envelope we got from HIA. <laughs> Immediately, Amanda pushes her door open. Horn Institute? I thought I said Horny. Horn Institute <laughs> for the Art? Horny Institute for the Art? I mean, that's just art school, baby. Yeah. I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. Father, please! I hand her the envelope, which she tears open with her teeth. That's probably bad for your teeth. 
She doesn't seem to hear me and spat, spits out a piece of the envelope. She pulls out a letter and unfolds oh. it. And... Spence is killing me. This is her dream school. Ah, oh, she's not gonna get it. Fuck! <laughs> Amanda's face is unreadable. I can't believe this. Oh, honey, it's okay if you didn't. I got in! Fuck yeah. I'm so proud of my daughter. <laughs> oh! I got in! Amanda tosses his letter aside and gives me a big hug. Congrats, sweetie, that's amazing. I'm so proud of you. She pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh my god, I, I really can't believe I got in! Well, of course you got in. You're a great student, you nailed that interview, and your photography is incredible. Wait, Dad. I know this one's really expensive, and it's so far away. Think for a moment. HIA one was one of the more expensive schools that Amanda applied to. But I know she's had her heart set on it for the longest time. It'll be tough, but we're gonna make it work. Hmm. Really? Of course. Amanda hugs me again. <laughs> Thanks, Dad! Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating tonight. Dinner. Your choice. Wherever you want. Wherever? Amanda and I walk along the bayside, tearing into our foil wrap burritos from a nearby fruit food truck. Could have chosen anywhere in Maple Bay. Cost was not a determining factor. Please, Dad. You know I'm a simple gal. Just give me a Rita with a view. Can't say I'm mad. Amanda and I sit on the patch of grass and watch Sips say it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, Amanda no. and I sit on a patch of grass and watch ships sail lazily through the bay. And the dorms are right near a bunch of cafes, and there are all these galleries nearby, and there's a discount if you bring your student ID, and... Amanda, slow down. You're gonna choke on your burrito. I know. I'm just excited. Did I mention that students get their own studio space once they're seniors, and we get all the professional photo editing software for free? It's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic about HIA, but I wish she wouldn't do it in between <laughs> bites of her burrito. I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take a survey online and they match you with someone with a similar major and interest. I bet we're gonna be best friends. Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a lifelong friend. Don't get me started on bad roommates. <sighs> oh no. I'm just kidding. We didn't have a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig bought home one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story about how a new foreign exchange student who had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like dog's bark. Call a root. Call, call rule. Oh. Yeah. oh, they let you have animals in the dorms if you got a note saying you need one? I thought I could forge one. I think I'd get a rabbit. Maybe a snake? Maybe both. Would the snake eat a rabbit, though? Oh boy, I'll think I'll leave all that up to you. She's so excited. I don't want to disappoint her, but I need to be real for a second. So, you know I had that talk with Mr. Vega. Don't... Not a... Wait a bit! <laughs> Let her have Can't this Can't this wait till tomorrow? Yeah! Hmm. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? No. I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but I need you to not get out of the park these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we'll need that scholarship money. I know you can do it. Okay. That's... Okay. I promise I'll try harder. Pat her on the back. Our oh, eyes, no! Yeah! You think you can handle a 14 hour drive to come home for the holidays? It's gonna be some treacherous ice roads to cross. Don't get me started on the paranormal occurrences. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. My eyes immediately well up with tears. Fuck, this game's good. Oh, oh, Dad, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just very, very proud of you. 
You're all grown up now and you're such a good person. I hope you know how important you are to me. Ted, stop. You're gonna make me cry too. It's too late, honey. It's happening. <laughs> eh, sorry. I was looking at something. Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's gonna taste sad. <laughs> I pull Amanda in for a hug and kiss her on the forehead. Mm. Love you, kiddo. Yeah. Love you too, Pops. Welcome. You've got dads. We did. So it took us an hour, hour 12 minutes to get through the first date. Yes. We have a message from Craig. Let's read that message from Craig. <laughs> Sorry, one sec. All My good. Bad. Hello, Amanda's dad. Well, I'm just gonna check something real quick. Ooh. Okay, yes. <laughs> it's me, your friend Craig, who loves sports. I have a nice smart I have nice and smart children who are good at computers. Oh uh, man, great to hear from you, buddy. What's up? Oh, uh, uh, this is absolutely his children talking for him. <laughs> this is absolutely his daughter trying to get him some. <laughs> I I'm still strong. Stormed. I'm sorry, I'm still stored. <laughs> Strong. I am strong. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I know it? Yes. So yeah, I've been reading up on about whey protein. You use that at all? I figured it'd help me develop a bit more muscle. <laughs> yes, I know what that is. My children are having a tea party and they want to invite a man. We can't find her on here. I <laughs> thank you, kids. You're also <laughs> invited. <laughs> Physical invitation to follow. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'd love to come. I'll let Amanda know. Thank you, Amanda's dad. Attend the party! <laughs> Before do I it, do that... Let's attend the party. <laughs> oh. um, I'm just gonna save, and I'm gonna be right back for a second. Okay. But then we can, uh... We can attend that party... <laughs> I didn't know there was bonus stuff like that, so maybe we'll have to split up Rob's Rat into a couple streams, but that's okay. Yeah, I think this is new with the update they did, like, last year. Okay. Yeah, I'll I didn't play it after the update, I don't uh, remember yeah. these. So that's gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna be right be- Ugh, yeah, be all be real quick. Be right to be? Yeah, what, what shouldn't be longer than five minutes, so ye. Yeah, I'm just gonna go get water then. Yep, cool, cool.
Hello, we do be back though. Um, I, I was reminded of a s story that I should tell that um, a couple weeks ago I went out with some friends and I like went to a sushi shop and I got some sushi and they gave me like two little soy sauce fish bottles so I used one on my sushi. And I still have the other one. And my friends were like, haha, drink it. And I was like, okay. So um, soy sauce, sauce on its own doesn't taste very good. Let's attend that party. Oh dear god. Coffee time. You know dads love coffee. Gonna brew myself something black as midnight on a moonless night. I put... Put on a fresh pot and work a few word jumbles while I wait for, the, for it to brew. Hey, this one spells sorrow. Dad, ready for today? I'm ready for every day, sweetie. Gonna tackle it head on. Hmm. No, are you ready for the thing that we're going to do today? The thing that you promised you'd do? Honey, I already told you I'm not gonna throw away my Tom Clancy novels. <laughs> They're just stacked in living room. I keep bumping into them and knocking them over, and you don't even read them. Hmm. Wait, no, that's not what I'm here about. <laughs> the tea party, Dad. Nope, I don't remember that. Craig's kids, the hand-drawn invitation. Amanda walks over to the refrigerator and comes back with a hand-drawn invitation on a sheet of computer paper inviting Amanda and Amanda's dad to a tea party. <laughs> Spelled cordially wrong. Just put on some going outside pants and let's get going. You can go outside in sweatpants. Nothing's stopping me. Dad, just... Ugh, I'll see you in a minute. 
Fuck authority. Fuck authority. <laughs> I like. What do I say about the pants? I like how it implies that Amanda is the authority. <laughs> you damn right she is. <laughs> I'm a rebel, sweetie. She's literally wearing the pants. <laughs> Whatever, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hello, thank you for coming to our tea party! Do my best to bow and present my daughter who thanks him with the curtsy. Oh my god, is her name Breer? Well, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be pronounced Briar, but yeah. Ah. Uh, this way, please. Briar and Hazel lead us to a small oh, table no. with tiny chairs. Some are occupied by stuffed animals, and Matt and his daughter Carmen East uh, are here too. I, I just want to say Carmen, but no. It's this maw. Carmen is. Matt raises a comically small plastic key teacup at me. Hey, dude. How's the tea? The imaginary tea is absolutely wonderful. I taste a hint of lemongrass. Hello, Carmenista. It's Carmen Sita. Carmen, fuck! I can't read. Oh wow, I Hello, can't read. Mr. Amanda's dad. Did you just wake up? Carmenista. Why did I? Why did I think that was correct? Uh, no. Why? <laughs> Those are inside pants. <laughs> Amanda laughs. Please, have a seat! I sit down between Amanda and Matt. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get out of this chair. Hi, everyone! Oh no, that's Daisy! That was too high for Daisy. I forgot yeah. who Daisy was. <laughs> oh no! Rude. There's too many children. There's just too many. Like, like I know it's a dad dating simulator but it's too many choices. look let me just get the, let's go i need to get the voice parkour going <laughs> all right i just i turn to see daisy and brian into the backyard and take a seat next to us sorry we're late daisy made me put on my going outside pants <laughs> amanda punches me on the shoulder see oh so you approve of cargo shorts when they're on brian but not when they're on me Dad, you're embarrassing me at this tea party. This is a high-class affair. But... Shh, it's about to start. Thank you all for ta taking the time out of your busy schedule for some tea. Hi, tea. Now, if you'll all put on your designated ti tiaras... There are little tiaras sitting on everyone's plates. Well, except for Brian's. His, uh... softball helmet? <laughs> oh... We ran out of tiaras. <laughs> I don't think this is going to fit me, but I appreciate the thought. I really want to see him wear it. <laughs> Dad, you're boiled. I don't remember Daisy's voice. Uh, Dad, you're royalty. Please act like it. Brian tries to balance the ill-fitting softball helmet on top of his head, but immediately tumbles off and into the bushes. <laughs> oh, Get that later. Hey, everybody! Craig comes out with a teapot and a tray of sandwich cookies. Dad is... Dad? Dad! Dad, Dad is the tea ready? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's been a um, steam for a while now. Awesome! Oh. Would you girls like to serve your guests tea? No, thank you. We'd much appreciate our servants' help. Craig leans over to me. Nice. That's me. Craig places teacups in front of all of us and a single sandwich cookie onto each of our plates. He pours some tea into my cup. Hmm. Awfully fluorescent for tea. I clink my tea club with mats and I take a sip. It's Gatorade. Oh, it's lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Gatorade. Good lemonade. It's tea. Right. Very good tea. Lean over to Amanda, who's happily enjoying her tea. So, what do we do at tea parties? 
We enjoy the splendors of upper class society, father. She takes a dainty bite of her sandwich cookie. Marvelous. So the meeting of princesses has been called to order. Hear, hear. But I'm a warrior princess. I hunt and stuff and have like a really cool sword. Can I be a space princess? I'll allow it. And I'll be the rock star princess. I'm also a space princess. Can there be more than one? Space is pretty big, don't you think? I changed my mind. I want to be a space princess. Space princess. A piss princess. No! A piss princess. Dad, what are you? I'm a piss princess. No! Do I get to be a princess? Duh! Please let me type it out. Well, I guess that makes me... What? Rude boy, boy princess! <laughs> I hate it here. If I drop my crown on the floor, I'll be... I'll make sure to pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I hate that that's actually... Because the second thing is a rude boy, I was like, a rude boy boy, I'd give it up. I'd a rude boy boy, and I, that was the reference! Oh... Yeah, pick it up, pick it up, yeah. <laughs> yep, a, okay, yeah. yeah. Matt, just Matt. Nice. <laughs> I think I'll be landscaper and general con contracting princess. Hey. Barista princess, reporting for duty. Whoa. Hey everybody, CrossFit princess here. Not now, servant. <laughs> if it weren't for the princess uprising... It would be you serving me. Hello. <laughs> we sip tea for a little long, and the girls run off to fight dinosaurs as space rock star warrior princesses, I think. They grew up so fast. It was like yesterday I was helping a man to throw her own tea parties. Did she make you servant too? You betcha. Carmen Sita made me actually brew teas for her. It falls with owning a coffee shop. Pitfall, your custom blends are amazing. The hibiscus one you gave me a while back was choice. Hmm. Aw, thanks. Ah. It's really nice that the girls are getting along. Yeah, I'm really glad we moved into this community. We are too. Amanda has been kind of a role model to them, you know. I didn't even realize, and I don't even know how Amanda does... I don't even know if Amanda does either. I can't fucking... Re We're gay and illiterate, it's okay. <laughs> but I guess they're right. All the girls in the neighborhood look up to her. She seems to go out of her way to play with them. I'm so proud of her. You better not proud cry at this tea party, Jack. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Jake. Jake J. Burke. <laughs> I... Uh, brought this extra word, word jumbles if anyone wants to kill some time while the girls play. Day rolls on, the girls get, all get tucked out. Amanda spends the whole day playing with them and taking their pictures, promising that she'll send the be them the best ones later. We all clean up and help put away the tea sets and tables, and head out as Daisy and Common Sea to fall asleep on their dad's shoulders. Oh. Take care, guys. Thanks for coming! Bye, Beard Boy Princess! <laughs> you want dinner? Nah, I filled up on cookies. Me too. I'm tired. Dude, same. Playing with a bunch of little kids who all simultaneously want your attention and approval is surprisingly exhausting. Mm -hmm. But in a good way? But also in a kind of scary way. How so? Ah. I feel like I gotta be on my best behavior for them. I don't wanna let them down. Is this because you still feel bad about dropping the F-bomb in front of your cousin that one time? I corrupted her dad. She secondhand smokes now. <laughs> well, those kids really look up to you. I'm glad they have you as a role model. Hmm. Shucks, Pops. I ruffle Amanda's head. Welcome. 
you can't be so in the bar. Oh, that was sweet. Can you message Amanda? Hmm? Can you, oh. like, message her? Our conversation ended now. Damn. Yeah, this... All right. Okay. Um, All right. So I, I know it auto-saves, but I'm going to save anyway. Um, let's, let's keep going. All right. I Yeah, I think we'll be able to do the second route today, but then I might have to end it there. That's fair. And then, um... Then maybe on Wednesday, would you be free to do the last one and then maybe something else after if we have time? As of right now, I should be. All right, just keep me posted. Um, otherwise, I can go back to do something else. On Thursday. Ah. Uh, Wait, your Wednesday or my Wednesday? It's your Wednesday, my Thursday. Cool. Yeah, I should be okay. Mm. Sweet. Alrighty. Yeah. I mean, at latest, I work until 8, so like, I can still stream at night, but 9.30 might be a better time or 10 for me. Yeah. So just at half an hour to an hour later than yeah. usual. It'll be the day before anyway, so... Gee. What? Like, um, my, my Thursday, your... Wednesday, and you start work on your Thursday, right? Thursday, yes. Yeah, so... I'm just saying going forward. Yeah, yeah. After that, yeah. Hmm. You will see how it all goes. I had a lot of fun with Robert the last time we hung out, but I'm beginning to wonder if he's dodging me. I tried messaging him a few times, and Dadbook says he hasn't even read them. Hasn't even seen him come out of his house, actually. So I had to send him one last message, figuring that this will produce a safe <clears throat> result. God, I keep burping. Hey man, I don't know where you've been, but we should grab a drink soon. I should have set that as we're coming up. I walk away from the computer, because at this point, I know he's not messaging me back anytime soon. I linger in the kitchen. I'm all caught up on work, the house is relatively clean. Maybe I should do something nice for Amanda. I'll bake her favorite pie. I root through the pantry and pull out all the ingredients. This is an old family recipe that I used to make with my grandmother when I was a kid. I lost the actual recipe card a long time ago, but I think I'll be able to remember how to bake it. I start mixing the ingredients together for the crust until I get a nice dough. I throw some cherries in the saucepan to make the filling. Normally I don't like to multitask in the kitchen, but this cherry pie is a piece of cake. Pie. It's a piece of pie. I'm making a pie. Oh man, I can never remember what temperature you're supposed to set the oven at. I'm pretty sure it's 375, but I could be wrong. For a moment, my dumbass like brain stupid? was like, 375, that's way too fucking high, but... Yeah, I'm actually that's wondering what that is like. Yeah... I wonder what that is for- like, what do you normally bake at? Like, what's uh, degree Celsius? I don't Celsius? bake often, but... Like, 200's usually good. 180. Okay, yeah. That's way too cold. For us, in, in Fahrenheit. Yeah, yeah, no. Is... 375 right? Hold on, let me- let me- Sometimes um, you bake at 400 something. Let me- let me, um, convert this real quick. I'm curious, so... 375. Okay, that's 190. Damn, that's, New Zealand. That's good. Yeah, that's so wild. Who am I kidding? I'm never wrong when it comes to this pie. A special twist on Grandma's recipe is a secret ingredient that not even Amanda knows about. Really makes cherries extra flavorful. God, why can't I remember what the secret ingredient is? <laughs> More cherries. I feel like it's salt. Usually bake with salt. That's not like a secret. I feel like almond extract would be a secret. Almond extract doesn't seem like it would- I hate almond extract, personally. How much salt More cherries is in? funny. Let's- yeah, let's put in more cherries. Oh, it's more cherries! Duh! Being the most important part of a cherry plot pie- bleh, pie. I truly believe that you can never have enough cherries. Let's turn the cherry dial to 11. Oops, I accidentally poured a little too much in. 
Way too much in. I'm sure it's fine. Baking is an odd and most some of the most beautiful odd is made from mistakes. I feel like no, no matter what you choose, that's the line you get. Just oh, put too much in. Yeah, that wouldn't be good with salt. Or almond extract. Or almond extract. Yeah. Cherries is the, the least damage. <laughs> I finally got the yeah. pie in the oven. How long am I supposed to leave it in there? 50 minutes? Ah, I'll just wing it. Matt is going to be so excited. That kid loves a good pie. I have a seat at the kitchen table and do word jumping until Amanda comes home. I can hear the door slam open. Yo, Pops, what's that like pie in here? It's pie, sweetie. <laughs> Amanda dots over to the open... Uh, dots over to the oven and looks inside. Yes! Ah. <laughs> hey, it's not done. Be patient. What's your angle here? What? Pies are an objective-based confection. What are you trying to get out of me? <laughs> been leading a double life. I've been leading a double life. <laughs> Thank you, Owen. I have terrible news for you. I'm actually a pro skateboarder and aspiring astronaut and a bank robber. The lifestyle is calling me back and I must go. One lost job. <laughs> you know how it is. One last job! <laughs> this pie was the only way I knew how to tell you. Well, I appreciate the years we spent together, but a trade up is a trade up. Remember me when you're kicking your feet up in Ibiza. Yeah. Thanks for all the pie. We share a cordial handshake. <laughs> I wait a few more minutes before taking the pie out of the oven. I set it on a rack to cool and got it so Amanda doesn't dig into it before it's ready. Huh? What? Hmm. Does it look <laughs> kinda weird to you? Oh, th that's just me taking out this license on what cherry pie means to me emotionally. I'm just saying this because, you know, seems like you may have baked this pie incorrectly. And you're currently, right now, trying to pass it off as a good thing. <laughs> it's art, sweetie. Was it art when you accidentally baked the whole uncracked egg into the center of my 12 egg cake? Oh. <laughs> well, it's. Was it art when you tried to make brownies and accidentally created chlorine gas? How? How? <laughs> like, I'm sure that's the joke, but also. <laughs> 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 well, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Was it art when you... Just eat the pie, Panda. <laughs> I cut a few slices and we sit down to eat. The cherry filling oozes out of the sides and the buttery crust glistens. I watch as Amanda takes a bite. Hmm. Ah. What's wrong? Is it not good? Oh. Amanda... Oh. Amanda winces and fans her mouth. Oh, no, I just burned the heck out of the roof of my mouth. This pie is amazing. Sorry for doubting you. Breathe a sigh of release. Ugh. I breathe a sigh of relief and take a bite. She's right. Pie is pretty incredible, as it always is. I'm really proud, I'm really proud, of, you. I'm really <laughs> proud of you for making a pie without burning your house. Not now you know what it feels like. <laughs> Just to be illiterate. Always illiterate, bitch. I'm gay. <laughs> I got a few dad tricks up my dad's sleeve. Maybe father's on as bumbling as stupid as the media makes us out to be. Maybe we as a society should have a little more respect for fathers as a whole. Dad, your sleeve is on fire. I've run to the sink and put myself out. Pride will be my undoing. Ha! You let you took the pie out of the oven, put it on a cooling rack, let the pie cool, cut the pie, put the pie on plates, and each took a bite before you realized you were on fire? 
I'd also like to mention that he's wearing a t-shirt. And That's his fine. sleeve is on fire. Yeah. How? And? How does, I don't know. How do you burn up, like, I get maybe, like, at the wrists. And then it travels up to them. He shouldn't have been on fire for that long! What did he get fired from? The pie? The oven reach I don't know. I've never sat if fire. He, if he got it from- No, no. If he got a bird from the oven, he then took the pie out, let the pie cool, which can take a good amount of time, cut the pie, served the pie, and took a bite of the pie before realizing he was on fire. Then how did he get on fire? I, I, My next hit. Amanda and I clean up the kitchen as we play a little more living room hoops before she retreats to her room to do homework. I go back to my word jumbles. Hey, this one spells cat. The rest of the evening trickles by. We eat dinner, I help Amanda with her scholarship applications, and we both start getting ready for bed. I decide to check dad book one last time before I climb into bed. Still nothing from Robert, huh? Hope he's okay. I turn out the lights and lie down. Oh. Hey. Jake. Hey. Jake. Hey. Hey, Jake. I'm outside. Come out. Hey, I'm outside. Come outside. He really is just a teenager. Hey, Jake. Hey, hey, Jake. Come sat. Hey, I'm sat. Come sat. Oh, what is that? I'm just just on the verge of falling asleep. Climb out of bed and try to identify the source of the dinging. My computer screen illuminates the dark room. I walk over to it, ready to turn it off when I notice what's happening on screen. <laughs> Don't make me honk. I will honk. Get out here. <laughs> I look out my window, and sure enough, there's Rob leaning up against his pickup truck in my driveway. I open my door and try to figure out what's going on. Hey. Hey? Wanna hang? I was kind of sleeping. Oh, that's no fun. Come hang out. Would argue that sleeping is very fun, but I don't have anywhere to be in the morning. Might as well live a little. Uh, sure. Me too. You plan on going out like that? I look down that I, and realize that I am, in fact, not wearing pants. I mean, I don't mind. Right. One second. I run inside and throw on my going out pants, shoes, and a jacket. I grab my keys and meet Rob back outside. Ready? Ready. Mm -hmm. Hop in. Jump into the passion uh, into the passion passenger seat of this old red passenger passenger seat. sheet. I have to move a the few empty passion, cigarettes. The passion my big fat heart. <laughs> Yeah, when I look <laughs> Robert, it is a passion jersey. Is it because your big fat heart expands? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that that's actually what um doing on the date. Your new ship find name another is truck and uh, trucks. you know. Hold hands. Oh god, no. God. <laughs> the passion. The passion is more than I can withstand. <laughs> I have to move a few empty cigarette packets and gas station receipts out of the way before I can sit. Robert silently starts the car and we drive out of the cul de sac. Oh. You like Tom Waits? <laughs> Hoist the rag, baby. Sure. Oh, fuck yeah! Yeah! I, I knew that was gonna be a reference. Before I can answer, Robert turns up the ra radio. Yep, that's Tom Waits, alright. He lights a cigarette and cracks the windows. We drive together in silence. So, where are we going? Robert doesn't respond. Robert? 
Oh, I like the I like the stickers on his dashboard. I accidentally skipped again. I thought you were saying the thing. Hi. Oh, no. You said um. Oh, I heard you. Is what he, he said. He said. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I heard you. Yeah, because you said oh I, and I'm like okay, that's that's saying the line. <laughs> Still doesn't answer my question. I look out the window and notice that Rob is taking us to the highway. I twiddle my thumbs. Well, whatever. I've gotten well, whatever I've gotten myself into. Looks like I'm in it for the night. I sit in my seat and watch the streetlights pass by. I glance over to Rob, who's driving intently. He looks tired, as he always does. There's something a bit more there that I just can't place. Hmm. I don't know, man. I like your car's small talk, so he won't like that. Are you okay? I don't know. Uh, no, wait, you, you feel like you'd say nothing. He likes silence. Yeah. And you'll crack him later. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Ah, there we go. Yeah! I remember what Robert said about hating small talk and decided to keep his mouth shut. He notices me staring. Stop looking so nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm a little nervous. Just hang on, we're almost there. Almost where? I have no idea where we are, and I think we're moving at a slight incline, but I'm not so sure. We eventually come to a stop. Robert gets out of the car, and I sit for a second, unsure if he wants me to get out, too. What are you waiting for? Hastily exit the car. Robert sits on the bed of his trunk and pats the space next to him. Sit down and take in the view. We're on a hill overlooking the city skyline against the bay. The cool night air rustles some trees near us as lights blink in the distance. Off to the side, I can see an entrance entrance to a dense forest. And it's also gorgeous. Oh. Hmm. Hold on. That's not the line I was expecting. I needed a second to... Uh, hello? Recover! <laughs> hello? This is where I come to masturbate. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. What's wrong with hey. you? This is my little... St oh, Danny! <laughs> did you hear that, Jack? I did not. <laughs> How am I hearing the character? It's just Danny goes, hey. It is, <laughs> it's so bad. It's good. <laughs> this is my little spot where I come to think. It's nice. You can see the whole city from up here. It really gives you some perspective. Robert reaches behind him and pulls something out of under his, out from under his jacket. Glints in the moonlight as I suddenly realize what it is. Oh shit, that's a knife! It's a knife. <laughs> oh. Please don't stab me! Robert reaches into a pocket and small pulls out a small piece of wood. Please don't stab me with that either! <laughs> Robert takes the knife to that piece of wood and starts carving at it. Oh. I breathe a very audible sigh of relief as Robert looks at me sideways. Did you think I was going to stab you just now? <laughs> no. I hate to break it to you, but I did, in fact, bring you out here to harvest your organs. Play along. Play along. Play Play along! along yes. Yeah, well, you think you caught me in a trap, but I knew. For years, I've been putting the most vile junk food in my body in preparation for this day. Come at me, friend, and reap what you will. Hey. Two steps ahead of you at all times. That's how I operate. Oh my yes! <laughs> now he gets past you, huh? That was so good. Yes. See, is easy to tell as a joke. Play along. Robert reaches into his pocket and pulls out a folding knife that he opens and hands to me. I'm gonna warn you. The last guy had a knife fight. We just lost three fingers because he didn't know the eight basic rules of knife fight, and you're familiar. 
correct? Uh, honestly can't tell when you're kidding. He's kidding! <laughs> I have so many levels of irony deep that I've forgotten what humor is. <laughs> Alright, Dave Strider Kenny. I... <laughs> He and I laugh. Have you ever whittled before? Considering I'm not a grandpa, no. What do you mean by that? Well, I just thought you'd have to block a wood ship to you, you along with your first social security check. <laughs> Jake, I have you know that whittling is a time honored tradition enjoyed by both young and old alike. That you're just missing it. Before you even tried, speaks volumes about your character. Hmm. However, because I've gotten to know you for some time and have come to think of you as a friend, I'm willing to attribute it to ignorance instead of malice. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is, go get that stick. Robin motions to a good stick in the ground. Perfect for a potential whittling. I pick it up. <sighs> The most important thing to remember while whittling is to cut with the grain, not against. If you cut against the grain, the wood's gonna splinter. Isn't the most important thing safety? Uh. <laughs> no. It getting hurt comes with the territory. Look at my damn hands. Now look at his damn hands. Calloused and covered in little white scars. The very nice hands. <laughs> You can't make a stick omelet without breaking a few hand eggs. <laughs> Trust no one. Knife that wood. Oh what? Knife that wood. Knife oh, what the fuck? that wood. Knife that wood. Knife I'm knifing that, that wood. wood. I knife that knife wood. That oh, wood. I accidentally skipped the line. It's good start. Wait, I'll look at it on stream real fast. Yes. Good start. What is it? It's a good start. What is it? Um, the knitting needle. I want to say that as a joke, but he might not take it as a joke, and that might be bad. Chopstick. Careful, don't poke yourself with that. You made a chopstick. Amazing. Wonderful. Oh god, I gotta do this again? Come on. Okay. It's a popsicle. I actually have a knife that looks just like this. I don't have any knives. <laughs> Tragic. Tell me about this one. Popsicle stick. All you need to carve some wooden juice, wooden fruit, and a wooden freezer. Fuck yeah. I'm just gonna go with my heart with whatever any of these are. That's a toothpick. What's the store here? Something to make me look. But never mind. <laughs> hey, it's working. I think I could take me. I think you could take me in a fight. Probably. May tough guy accept. Tough guy accept. I didn't know this game had mini games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I offer you an egg in these trying <laughs> times? Hmm, what's that? Chicken nugget. Chicken nugget. <laughs> Chicken nugget. Oh, please don't eat that. You made her off and uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I love Fucking this game. Man. What is it? Nice form. What's it supposed to be? It's you! Louisiana! Louisiana. A self Good old Louisiana. <laughs> Beautiful place. I stabbed there once, you know? It was it Kentucky? <laughs> Louisiana. He made Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, how much carving are you going to do? I don't know, this is just the whole stream. It looks like a chopstick. Interesting. <laughs> what do we have here? Chopstick <laughs> writing, chopstick, <laughs> chopstick, and the <laughs> extra. 
Oh. Let's go with ambidextrous. <laughs> it's the stick. Hey, I could tell that's clearly a chopstick stick. Chopstick ambidextrous. Am I gonna have to like fight him with all the items I've created? <laughs> Are you having fun, Jack? I'm Whitlin. That one's not bad. I'm trying to get the button. There we go. That looks like a... Something. If you keep this up, you'll be a Whitlin bro in no tap. New, New friend. friend! New friend! He is a friend! I, have... I made a new friend! You made a new friend. Is that it? No, there's more! No! Holy shit! Yeah. Damien's minigame was not this fucking long. Looks like a horse. Beautiful hand to work. What do you call it? Big old dog! Big old dog! <laughs> the spirit of the Mustang! I think you're taking some artistic license here, but I can respect that. You made a big old dog. <laughs> <laughs> fucking amazing. Okay. The Sir Horsington the Brave option. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Robert and I. Not That's me. me. I'm stretching though. Ugh. That's all the time. That's the time for all of the times you stole my identity. You're right. <laughs> I guess you are also Jake Flooferson. He is half of me. He is our fusion. <laughs> Robin and I sit in silence for a while, carving out pieces of wood. I think I'm getting the hang of this. It's actually kind of relaxing. I glance over to see what Robin's working on. He's carving a smaller wooden knife. Ah! While I'm distracted, the knife slices into my thumb. Blood gushes all over my little wooden carving. Um! Robin just is lost in the carving option. and doesn't notice me bleeding everywhere. Hello, Fancy! Hello! I, I, thank you for the pog. We do be romance, do be romance in a man. Yes. Uh, Robert still doesn't notice. Robert, I'm dying! Robert, I'm, dying. <laughs> I'm bleeding Hello. to death. We're dying, Fancy. We're dying. Yeah! We're bleeding to death. Dirty Daddy. Oh, God, no! That's fancy. Fair. We can't keep doing this. <laughs> yeah, Rob finally, finally looks over. Finally look over, Jack. Yeah, he reaches into a ja his jacket again. Jesus, how much stuff does this guy keep in there? He pulls out a red bandana. He wraps it around my thumb. Hold that. Hops off the truck, and I hear him rummaging around his car. Comes back a moment later with a well stocked first aid kit. Robert carefully wipes all the blood off my hand and swipes a bit of antiseptic onto the cut. With surprising gentleness, he places a bit of gauze on the wound and wraps it all up. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. He has to be what's left of the tube of the antiseptic. Make sure to keep that cut clean. It's lovely touching and... I'm a little sexy? Guess I'm a real Whitlin so now. That you are. Be careful. They're attracted to the smell of blood. What? What's attracted to the smell of blood? Cryptids. That's right! Sorry, cryptids. Huh? A ton of them out here, you know. Am I gonna get killed Robert. by a fucking Mothman? Robert really likes cryptids. Fuck yeah. Cryptids like Mothman and stuff? Mothman bullshit, but yeah, this town's a hotbed for cryptological occurrences. You're joking. Oh, how I wish I were. I'm a skeptic myself, or at least I thought I was. There are things in these woods that we can't possibly comprehend. Think about my entire time in the city. Aside from the occasional stray coyote, I don't think it's too bad. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. You ever heard of the Dover Ghost? I don't think so. Well, let me tell you a story. 
I was out in the woods here on a weekend camp trip with Betsy. You know, you don't know Betsy, but she's a big pup. Pitbull, real intimidating. Excuse me. I feel safe around her. First night goes without an incident. I get some solitude. Betsy gets to pee wherever she wants. All good stuff. Second day, I get the idea in my head that I can hike deeper into the woods. Probably against my better judgment, but hey, we're just having a fun camping trip, right? So me and Betsy start marching in the morning. It gets a little late and we sit up camp, but it's different this night. Real quiet. I can't hear birds, the crickets, squirrels, nothing. Dead silence. Then it happens. I hear the most unholy growl I've ever heard in my life. Right outside my tent, me and Betsy, we go to investigate. We look around the clearing, nobody's there. Hmm. But there's a feeling. Not sure if I can quite describe it. I know someone, something, is watching us. Betsy, though, she's scared. Never seen her like that. And when she's scared, I know that I should be too. And then I see it in the distance. Mm. A man, but something that didn't know what a man was supposed to look like made it just look wrong. Big, arms too long for its body, black eyes just stood there and stared at me. Mm. Then disappears. <sighs> I'm so sorry, I am yawning boy. <laughs> yeah, just, I, the yawn is like, wait, did the cryptid get you? <laughs> yeah, I am dead! Uh, then it disappeared. I heard one yell from Betsy, and I turned around to check on her. She's gone into thin air. I didn't sleep at all in my tent that night. I don't think I've slept right since. Ooh, I think it's that's terrible. Yeah. Wow, Robin, I'm so sorry. They say that if you listen closely on quiet nights, nights just like tonight, you can hear the howl of the Dover ghost. Howl resonates through the woods. Doesn't sound like a regular howl. It's so guttural. Even from far away, something about it makes my skin crawl. Okay, Robin, real funny. Turn to look at Robert. He's white as a sheet. You messing with me, right? I was messing with you up until literally just now. I totally made that campus story up. Strain my eyes to scan the forest line, trying to see where the house originated from. Off in the distance, I see something. So far away, I barely can make out a shape. It looks human, but it's dragging something. Um, do you see that? We should go. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> Hello? Robin and I slowly back away and get into the truck. He turns off his headlights and make as we make slow crawl away back onto the road. I'm too scared to look back. What was that? The Dover ghost, I guess. I chuckle nervously. This time doesn't he doesn't seem like he's messing with me. Well maybe someone illegally dumping garbage on a wildlife preserve. Yeah, that's the story we'll tell ourselves. Sid in silence for a little while longer. The fear of whatever that was slowly subsiding as we Uh, the fear of whatever that was slowly subsiding as we got close to the city. I... Thanks for coming out. This was fun. I'm sorry I haven't been in touch. I've just been in a way lately. I had to get out of the house. Uh. Had to be around somebody. You doing okay, man? Mm -hmm. Robert thinks for a second and lights another cigarette. Mm -hmm. I... Been doing a lot of thinking. Takes a long drag. Uh. As I get older, I feel more and more that I'm just in this sea of regret. I'm so busy chasing after these things that I thought would make me happy that I didn't think about anyone else. 
all I cared about was myself. I didn't even think. It's probably where his kid's going to come in, because we haven't seen them yet. Robert stops. Assuming he has children. The, the whole point of the game is that you're dating dads. <laughs> That's fair. Robert stops. I wait for him to finish his thought, but he stares at the road. Maybe I'm just built like this. Mm. Maybe I do it to myself. Maybe it's my own choice that I'm as unhappy as I am. Try to think of something to say. I remember all the times in my life where I've been sad and there's been a great many of them, but there was always a light at the end of the tunnel. Something I held on to that kept me going. There's something so resigned about the way Robert's talking. <clears throat> I'm glad you told me. It must have taken a lot for you to, to want to tell somebody this. You're a mysterious guy, Rob, but you don't have to be. Do you ever uh -huh. wish you were a better father? Aha! Think about it for a second. You right. All the time. You can read all the parenting books you want, but nothing will ever prepare you for raising a child. There's so much stuff I regret or wish that I could have done better, but I don't have the answers. I don't know if anyone does. Hey. It's funny. I look at you and your relationship with your daughter and it seems perfect. It isn't. Mm -hmm. At least you're there for her. I stare out the window at the blur of the plot passing, uh, passing trees. I just hope I'm a better father than my own kid than my dad was to me. Mm. What did your dad do? It's more about what he didn't do. He was quiet, stoic. I don't think he ever told me about don't think he ever told me once that he loved me. That wasn't right, but that's okay. He cared more about his work than he ever did about me or my mother. Huh. <clears throat> Do you hate him? No, I used to, but after I became a parent, I just feel kind of bad for him. I missed out on my whole childhood. When I think about all the happiest moments in my life, they're all with Amanda and Alex. And he just... Wasn't there. I felt like hell when I had to leave him to die in the. Uh. Belarus in prison? What? Hello? What? I turn and smile at him. No, he's retired in Florida with my mom. You go there every Christmas. <laughs> okay. Both break out in the loft. That he pats me on the shoulder. We drive the rest of the way in silence, listening to the radio and watching the bright lights of the city grow bigger. Robert drops me off at my place. As I'm about to close the passenger's door, I realize that I still have Robert's pocket knife in my jet. <clears throat> Ugh, I keep burping, what the fuck? <laughs> it's a curse. We do be burpy on you, boys. Robert's pocket knife in my jacket. I pull it out and offer it back to him. You hold on to that. Never know when you might need it. No, Robert. Have a safe drive home. Robert smirks and pulls away. He then immediately pulls into his driveway, which is one over from mine. Cats out and waves. <laughs> Tiptoe in the house. <laughs> Careful not to wake Amanda up. Whoa, where'd you come from? I look around and spot Amanda coming from the kitchen with a glass of water. Hmm. I thought you were sleeping. Oh, uh... Robert woke me up to go cryptid hunting. You know the Mothman's bullshit, right? Amanda Lang... You know what? It's fine. I think about the conversation I had with Robin in the car as Amanda starts walking towards her room. Hey, Amanda. She stops. I love you. It's weird when you say it outright and sincerely like that, but I love you too. Night. Chuckle to myself and finally decide to go to bed. Um, sorry, just suddenly, suddenly I need to call my mom and say that I love her. <laughs> <laughs>
S. S. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> that was pretty quick All right, we're as two well. Hours and, two hours and twenty minutes in, but we do be I do be a yawn. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we'll finish up until we're at Dad Book, and if there's like an interesting party or whatever we can go to, maybe we'll do that. Yeah. But I don't okay. think we have enough to do the last event. I definitely don't have enough energy for the last event. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not been to a long read anyway. Like I. Just... Yeah, that's fair. I'm just about to ready to pack it in. After a few bites of ice cream from the freezer, I turn off all the lights and walk down the hall into my room. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. That kid needs some sleep. It's a possible room I can hear a faint sound. I can't quite make out what it is. Get a little closer. Is she crying? I knock gently on the door. Hey, Amanda? The crying immediately stops. Not right now. Her voice sounds strained. She sniffles. Need to make sure he's okay. She's okay. I open the door. <laughs> oh. In the dock, I can see Amanda's outline in the middle of her bed. Knees hugged up against her body. Is everything okay? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I feel like we should press her on the issue. You think? Yeah. Oh, I... Because she just keeps avoiding it. Did something happen? No, nothing happened. Go away. I'm going to keep pressing. Amanda... Get out! Okay, okay. I quickly leave her room and shut the door behind me. Once the door closes, I can hear her crying again. Wow. What has her so upset? She seemed fine earlier. She's usually so open with me. Did I do something wrong? Is she mad at me? I guess if she wasn't before, she definitely is now. I can't even remember the last time she snapped at me like that. I have a hard time falling asleep. When I finally do, I'm still thinking about Amanda. After a long night of very little sleep, I roll out of bed and make, make myself a pot of coffee. Amanda should be up for school soon. Maybe she'll be willing to talk about whatever's bothering her. About ten, ten minutes before she's supposed to leave, Amanda comes out of her room and makes a beeline for the freezer. Morning, Amanda. Morning. She drops a frozen waffle into the toaster and slams the freezer door. She won't look at me. Yikes. So, anything big going on at school today? No. Okay. Do you need a ride to school? No. Get some coffee? Amanda pulls the toaster le lever up and takes our still freezer burned waffle out before it's finished cooking. I have to go. Amanda picks up her bag and storms out. Oh. Okay. I haven't seen her act like this in a long time. It's usually short-lived, but it always hurts. Hopefully this blows over and things are back to normal soon. Sit back at the kitchen table and look at a picture of Amanda and I hanging on a wall. You know, I'm teaching her how to ride a bike. Her face is a mixture of excitement and pure, unadulterated fear. I remember how determined she was. Every time she would fall off and scrape her knees, she would get up and try it again. Finally, I had to stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. And then she started to cry because she didn't think she needed bandages and wanted to keep trying. As I put the bike away, she just stood in the middle of the street and screamed. When I took her for ice cream, it was like nothing yet even happened. After giving a bit of thought, I decided if I force her about it, I'm only going to make things worse. But I have an idea. Start rummaging around for ingredients. Hear Amanda walk in the door instead of heading for the kitchen like she usually does. She makes a beeline to her own room. She's clear, clearly trying to avoid me. Hey, pumpkin. What? Can you come here for a sec? There's a moment of silence. Yeah. I want to say sorry about last night. 
just worried about you, kiddo. I get scared when I know something is wrong, and I get even more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. Dad, I... So just... whatever it is. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. But whatever it is, know that you have a dad in your, in your corner who wants you to be uh... happy. Honey... You know I'm bad with words, so I was hoping I could speak a language you both understand. I pull a cake out of the refrigerator and place it on the table. Hopefully the frosting is set by now. Ta-da! Dad? Oh, no. fuck. fuck! this... I wasn't expecting this game to be this fucking emotional. Oh, it's so good. It took me a real long time because I ran out of red frosting somewhere around sad and had to start over and... This is beautiful. Strawberry. Amanda gives me a big ol' hug. I grab some plates and forks and set up some service up some delicious cake. So, it's really stupid. What is? This whole thing. I know I've been really weird lately and there's just... I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like I might have to make you a chart. I'm listening. You want me to take notes? Hmm. I guess I should start from the top. So you know about how Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California, right? Emma R? Emma R <laughs> is the best friend? All right. You got it! <laughs> yes! Okay. You got it! Wow, I'm proud of you! Anyways... Ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? And she's been spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was all in my head for a while. Then I found out from Rosie M. that both of the Emmas, Grace and Noah, all went to a party at Mackenzie F's. On the same night, they all told me that they were busy studying for the Cal Gay B final. Yikes. So, another important piece of information is, um... God, this is embarrassing. I um, have a crush on Noah, and, uh, that's a thing. What? Whoa, I had no idea. I definitely didn't know that. Okay. You're a bad liar. So are you. I learned it from the worst. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so the only person I told about the crush was Emma R, and she promised not to tell anybody. I didn't confront them about the party or any. I didn't confront them about the party thing because I didn't want to start drama, so I just kept quiet and I keep going about my business. Amanda sighs. And then one day I invite everybody out to go get nauseous at the ball, and I've not texted me back for like two hours, even though none of them ever put their phones down for more than 60 seconds. They all say they're busy, like simultaneously. So I tell them, never mind, I'll just eat nachos at home, right? But we were out of chips, and I really, really wanted nachos. Totally understandable. Uh, so I go to the mall anyway. I go to the food court, and who do I see but Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah, all hanging out together and eating nachos without me. What? It gets better! I'm standing by the escalators watching them, and I realize that Noah has his arm around Emma R, which is kind of weird, right? But then they kiss! No! Yes! I know! So I storm over there, and I'm like, hey! And Grace drops the notches on her shirt, because of course she does, and Emma R, like, glares at me. Grace. Grace. Nothing is coming up, I... Don't know who that is. Grace is the... <laughs> gossipy one? I assume I gossipy. I don't remember. I know! Grace is the one nobody really likes, or I guess that's me now. But anyway, nobody will say anything, and I'm just like, you guys suck, which I realize is not the most eloquent thing to say, but I was very angry and really embarrassed, and I just wanted to get out of there. So I left, without nachos, might I add, which only further contributed to the shitty day. 
and immediately drafted a super long text to the group chat asking them why they've been so weird. And I wrote another one to Emma R asking how long the Noah thing's been going on. And Sorry, I know that's a lot. You still following? What did Emma R say? I need to know. I yeah, need the yeah. tea. Uh, okay. Get a little of this. Emma R says, you know what? Let me just read it to you. Amanda pulls out her phone and reads, word for word, an audaciously long string of text messages. Can you believe that? Cannot believe that. <laughs> I care so much about Amanda's social life and mental well-being, but man, I do not understand what she's talking about. This is all beyond me, but I'm trying my hardest to be supportive. Yeah. They were dating in secret for, like, months! So I told her that she's being a really terrible friend, and she's like, well, if you think I'm so terrible, then I just stop being my friend. And I was like, okay, and then she left me on red, and then... Wait, left me on red? What is that? Oh, like, she saw my message and didn't reply, and I know because there are red or there because there are read receipts. I don't know what read receipts are, but I'm going to nod and pretend like I understand. Yes, you do! You said that Robert left you on red! <laughs> so while so this is all happening... Oh, that's you. I keep so stealing your identity. Happening. I'm talking to Emma. I'm talking to Emma P about how mad I am, because she said this being kind of reasonable, and I'm venting to her about how pissed I am at everything and stuff. But out of nowhere, Noah texts me and is like, how could you say that about me and I'm like saying what about you and tells me that I'm a piece of screenshots of everything I told the group chat that I got kicked out of. All right, I think you lost me at screenshots, but that definitely sounds uh, bad. There's so much more, but honestly, it's all really just stupid teenager stuff. The bottom line is that everybody dropped half of my grade hates me, and now I have no friends. I can't, Amanda. God damn, I can, Amanda. Oh, God. <laughs> Amanda, I'm so sorry. I almost expected it from everybody else, but... Emma R's been there since Dad died. Can't believe she would just stab me in the back like that. I'm not even that mad that she's dating Noah. I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so long. Amanda stabs the remnants of a cake. Okay, I take it back. I am kind of mad she's dating Noah. Like, what did I do wrong? Why did everyone just suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Why wasn't I enough? I, I don't understand. And as mad as I am at everybody, like, I miss them, Dad. And I look so dejected. I almost can't take it. What could I possibly say to help? Uh, anyways, that's it. The whole sordid tale. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week for more hot gossip. Wow. I know, it's pretty dumb. Who? No, it's not, not dumb. dumb. Yeah. It's not dumb. Like, I, I'm not saying it's kind of dumb, as in I do think that's kind of dumb. I think... That might soften it a bit for her, but then I realize, no, it's not dumb. No, it's a pretty stupid thing to be upset over. Amanda, your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for having feelings. I guess. Unless you've secretly been a robot who's been approximating human feelings this whole time. Dad, if I was a robot, I would have transformed into a monster truck a long, long time ago. But seriously, I know you probably don't want advice, but I feel like it's my duty as a dad to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly wisdom. I would say either real friends don't do that, or high school sucks. I was thinking the first one, but these are... Really? I feel like the first one is just so, so pessimistic. Like, so horribly pessimistic. Mm. Like, at least it's real friends don't do that. It's like, like, yeah, like, they were shitty, but, like, good people won't do that to you. And high school sucks. It's just, yeah, high school sucks, but it's going to be over soon. Mm. Honey, high school sucks. You make friends with people just because they're there. 
And you're still living in your hometown, there's a pretty small pool of people to choose from. Once you go to college, and once you get out into the real world, you're going to be exposed to all sorts of people. It's going to be easier to make friends with people who really get you. Some of those friendships can last a light lifetime. I mean, look at me and Craig. And some of them only last a little while, and that's okay too. You're going to make so many awesome new friends at art school. Ultimately, I think this says more about that character than it does about yours, but because you're amazing. And they can't see that. Well, that's their problem. I'll keep that in mind. I look down at the table. Do we just eat that whole cake? Yes, we did just eat that whole cake. Well, good talk. <laughs> Amanda gets up to go to her room. Before she closes the door, she, uh, der, her door, she turns around. Hey, Pops. Yeah? Ah. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> You're always welcome. Love you, Amanda. I love you too, Dad. Love you too, Dad. Uh... Welcome. Wait, you really? got dads. Oh no, my god, no. that was really oh, sweet. Oh, we got another one from Craig! <laughs> oh that my god. Really that was so sweet. God, though I feel Amanda. Oh, uh, 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 I had a friend who started dating somebody I liked, though we were already on the outs in high school. It was just frustrating anyway. And like, ah! Mm. Uh, but, like, just, I love Amanda. I feel so bad. Oh, so we can either so stop bad. here or we can do Craig's little side story. Um. Hmm. The little side things are usually pretty short, so I think we can do that. Um, but I will take another yeah. break. Because that was a lot. That hit very close that, to home. Yeah, that was a lot after Robert. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <sighs> God. Just, oh my. Oh. God. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're gonna take a small break. Um, I'm gonna get some water and just take a moment. So, ye. Uh, yeah, be right back.
Hello, we are back. Hello. We're real quickly going to do this little um thing with Craig. Oh, ye. Hey, dude, I've got the run. <laughs> oh, I've got just the thing. I'll head to the score and grab you a real chunky milkshake, cherry licorice, and a book of word jumbles that I find helpful in strenuous times such as these. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wouldn't that just make it worse? Oh, it's not for the diarrhea. Milkshakes are just comforting. Wait, why are we talking about this? If I, I've got the runs, I meant that I feel like running. Want to come to the gym? Why do I feel less excited about that than getting you home remedies for diarrhea? Come on, man, it'll be fun! You know what? Sure. When are we doing this? There's more than 30 minutes left in Meet Hell Marathon. I'm outside right now. I'm warming up. Okay, okay. At least let me see if Betty gets away with the wolves and. away from the wolves in time to get her. Fuck. <sighs> Sup? Uh. So prasada wrapped cheesecake. So prasada wrapped cheesecake out of the oven. Go running. Never too early to invest in some personal IRA. Hello? The gym is just... That's Craig. Oh my god, that's Craig. It's the gym was Craig. just installed as new... Oh no, maybe it's not Craig, but... The gym just installed these new virtual jogging treadmills. We'll feel like we're running now, too. You can see other runners on your screen, too. Let's try it out together. Oh, it is a little Craig. Yeah. Other runners. Will I be able to keep up? Don't worry. We're here to cheer each other on. I'll be right here with you. Nice. Just get a rhythm going. Keep your heart rate up. But don't overexert yourself. You'll do great. Run that dash. Okay. Oh, oh. It's you gotta spam you... it. Oh my god. 
That's so funny. This is just Wii Sports. Oh! Come on. It's like fucking Wii Sports. Yeah. Come on. This said You've something about keeping jack. your heart rate low, but I don't I don't know what's reasonable. I don't work out. Yeah, if I just hold it, then that's not very good. Jack, I'm so sorry. If you're talking to me, I think my internet's fucking up. And so like oh. I can't understand. hold. I can hear you fine. I it might be something with my mic though. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I fi figured. I just hopped out and hopped back in, and everything seems to be a little smoother. So. All right. Um. Hopefully, stream's yep, not okay. too bad then. <laughs> Doesn't seem like you're doing too bad. Yeah. Hey. What are you, are you spamming? Just the mouse button? I'm spamming the space bar, but you could also use the mouse button. I'm better at spamming a button rather than a mouse clicky. Yeah, no. Mood. This is cute. <laughs> I wonder how... It's cute, but how fucking long are they gonna this have Aaron, you running this for? This Aaron's it? name. <laughs> Aaron? That makes sense. They probably have character names and, like, voice actor names. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, the finish line. Fuck yeah, I was getting tired of spamming the space button. <laughs> Finished. How'd I do? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm just so fucking good at this game. I, I don't know what to tell you. Go. Welcome. You've got that. Oh, that was it. Okay, that was nothing. All right. Oh god. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, we'll end it there then. It was a little bit earlier than I anticipated, but like, whatever. It's only 15 minutes before three hours. Yeah. Um. Thank you, anybody who came along. Um. Catch us Just, yeah. on Wednesday. Yeah, we'll be back on Wednesday. Tomorrow I'm going to play more Persona 4 Golden on my own. Then on Friday, no, Thursday, my Friday, Thursday for you guys. Time zones are confusing. I'm for most. in the future. Um, <laughs> so on Thursday, I'm planning to play Town of Salem with viewers. And that'll be exciting. Because I have another surprise planned for that. Which is going to be a Ooh. surprise. Which I'll... Jay, I'll tell you after the stream. Because I actually Yay. sort some shit out with it. Well, that works for me too. Because, uh, well, like, playing Town of Salem should be fun. I get out of work, I think at, like, 5 my time. And usually stream at 9 my time. So. Oh, okay, yeah. I stream at 1 so my time. I've been thinking about maybe streaming a bit earlier, but I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, I have a lot of thoughts and plans, but I think Big if I just keep to thought. my schedule for a bit, it should be good while well, I sort other stuff out. Um, yeah, hey. thank you everybody for coming. It's been great, fun, good shit. Um, have a good rest of your day, night, whatever time.